Salve welcome friends, welcome back to the channel, always in the series about Room Database for Android. In this video, we are going to see something called converters. Let's get started. So often in your database, when working with entities, sometimes you'll have to store, for example, hit int strings like normal int, and sometimes you'll have to store complex objects. So let's say, for example, we want to store something called like created date, for example. This is like a date. Now, this date by default, well, it's date, but Roon doesn't know how to store it because in simple SQLite, we don't have date, like we have normal text, number, I think. We have, we have a limited set of things. So we have to convert this date into something storable, if I can say that. So basically, date is just a long number. We will tell Roon, in order to store the date, you'll have to convert it to number. But when you give me back a word, you have to give it to me in a date format. You have to give me this create date in a date format. So the way to do that is to create something called converters. And we use it in Room to let her know how to deal with this kind of date. So to do that, let's create here a package called, let me check, let's call it converters. And we'll have to create here a simple class, simple Kotlin class, let's call it also, for example, Room converters. You can split your converters based on, I don't know, some criteria. And here we'll create simple functions. We'll convert what to what? We'll convert, for example, a date to long, like the following. The parameter here will be the date, and the output will be the long. And here we'll simply return the date dot time. That's one. The other function is the reverse. We'll convert what? We'll convert a long to date, like following. We will take here a long, where I will have to convert this long in order to say it's time long. It's not just long, like following. And you have to return a date here, like following. Simply just return a date in the constructor, which is the time. That simple. Now, in order to tell Room to use this two function to map between the long and the date, we will have here to annotate it with type converter, like the following and like the following. Oh, keep in mind that there is another S here, but you don't have to use that because this one is used in order to set up everything together for the room database. Just use type converter here. So that's it on how to create room converter. Just know how you can map your data back and forth between the two formats and just ensure that the converted format is supported by room. The supported type in room are like the following. We have a null, we have a real, a text, a blob, and an integer. Okay, that's simple. So you have to keep your back and forth formats only to this values. Just keep that in mind. For example, if you want to use like a Boolean data type, you have just simply to use true or false. If you want to use date, for example, the date can be used as string or as a number as we did, like the Unix time here, and so on and so on. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to glue everything together, like the word DO, the room converters, and the entity into one single class that will provide our database. Thanks a lot for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.